be a role model worthy of emulation. And you know, it's one of the things that I want you to expect of me, that every time I do whatsoever I do, that I will do it in a way that you will be inspired to be able to do the same. And I expect the same of you. I, I want to be sure that if I saw you doing anything and I did it, it would not hurt my family, it would not hurt me. So we both must become the examples of the lives that we wish others would live. We both must become, in, like in the words of Mahatma Gandhi, the change that we want to see in the world. So there's someone who called me once and said to me, Fela, you know, you don't even know how your values have changed my life. He said, he lives in an estate where the, the roads into the estate are dual carriage and his house is on the right side of one of the roads, obviously. But if he was to come out and do the right thing, he would have literally needed to go down the road and then turn back at a roundabout and come towards the gate. But hey, this is how everybody does it. The moment he comes out of his road, he just checks to see that the road is clear. He turns to the left uh, against a, a bit of traffic and he makes his way very quickly to the, to the roundabout. It's, he's been doing that for years. But then he decides that he's going to be a role model worthy of emulation. So he's taking his son the day after he takes this value. He's taking his son for a haircut on a Sunday, getting him ready for the next week. And as he comes out Sunday evening, of course, no, you know, very little traffic. He makes the turn to go the right way. And his son shouts, Daddy, where are you going? You're going the wrong way. He said to me, tears came out of his eyes because he realized that apparently, all the while, he had been showing his son the wrong thing. But because his son believed the best in his dad, his son believed that what his father was doing was the right thing. Whereas he'd been modeling the wrong thing. I mean, I, I always like to think of it this way. If everyone did what I did, would we have a better nation or a worse nation? That's what guides me. If everyone says the kind of things that I say, would we have a happier nation, a better nation, a more prosperous nation? If everybody arrived at your meetings at the time you arrived, will the meeting ever start on time? If everyone ever got to the office at the same time you got to the office, would the office be able to open on time? If you can drive in a way that if everybody else drove, we would have smooth and free flow of traffic, that would be a great idea. I want you to be the example that every single other person can. Now listen to this. I went to a university once, a college campus, and, uh, and there were about 5,000 people that were there to listen to me. And I asked them a very simple question. I said, how many of you love your parents? And almost all the hands went up. Then I asked, how many of you think that your parents are heroes and role models for you in their career and you would like your career to go, you know, through the kind of career path that they have? Do you know that in less than 30 seconds, only six people had their hands up? Meaning, it, you see, that day something happened that changed my life. I realized that the choice of who you love is an emotional decision, but the choice of a role model is a very sensitive an intellectual decision. Your children may love you because you are their parents, but your children will not necessarily choose you as a role model because of the fact that you are their parent. I decided that day that I must be a role model to my kids, not just a father. I want to be somebody that they admire. I want to be somebody that they don't just look up to, but they find in me someone who they would like to be. This is how I intend to be a role model with their emulation, and I want you to be the same. So go ahead, be a role model, worthy of emulation.